Uh, let's go ahead and get to our next questions. And I, and I forgot to tell everybody that we we have uh, some guests tonight, a familiar face and an unfamiliar face. We have uh, Nate. Nate, Nate. Is Nate back. Nate through the gate again. Yes, and, then we, and then we brought in the mayor of Austin over here. Is where I was introduced to him the other night. This man, I, I, what's your name, man? Kodo Brown. He's a Kuda. Kuda Brown. Kuda Brown. I'm, but some I, respect. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm Kuda. Glad, Kuda Brown. I'm, I'm glad to say Doodoo Brown. Or something like Kuda that. Brown. No, Kuda, Kuda, Kuda Brown. Kuda, I told wherever he goes, people just open the doors and just let him in, man. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so. That's that man. So Let's I'm see. Th- Mr. Brown, thank you for taking your time out of your busy schedule. Yeah. It's nice. Nate's birthday. We're, we're gonna bring you. We're gonna bring you up in a little while. Yeah, we all gonna sit up here. Where that outfit came from? The, they, do I, man, do do I do I know? Do I know where that outfit came from? I've been looking for somebody to ask me that came all from night. Man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, thank you, brother. I couldn't have set it up any better. Yes. Yes. Damn you. Yes. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> yeah, uh, Chris Tucker from the Fifth Element. Ruby Rod, man. And he's from and he's for, Chris Tucker's from Atlanta. Yes, nice, so, very nice. Like I said, I'm a, I'm a movie critic. You know when it pops up and it tells you like, come here, come here, man, like, come here, come here. Nice, let, let her, yeah, yeah, let her yeah, see. Yeah. 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 Shout out to the chat. 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 Thank you very much, nineties. I'm sorry. Sir. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, tag him on out of there. <laughs> What's up, man? How you doing? Cotto, Cotto, Cotto Brown. Cuda Brown. Cuda Brown. Cuda. Concentration overwhelms opposition through ambition. Cuda Brown. Cuda Brown. Yes, sir. It's a I don't have to live in life. Now I don't have to say all that. I can just say Cuda Brown. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. It just makes people remember that it's not like spelled a certain way. Some people I'm like C O T T A or K U D. I'm like, well, K U D A is how you pronounce it. But my name is like a statement of living life. It's an acronym, so you know what I mean. I want people to get that straight. It's my branding. That is cool, man. My name's Corey. It don't it don't mean shit. <laughs> <laughs> so so that's cool to have you. Even your name is important, yeah, man. Yeah. That is cool right there. No, I, man. I, I this outfit. I everybody was loving this outfit this weekend, and I just bought the shit off of Amazon. I just saw this Negro posing, and I said, Hey, that'll work right there. And that's, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna keep it real. You, you hitting it better than he is because he's yeah. dark. I'm, he's uh, yeah, I know, man. <laughs> I don't want to say nothing, but yeah, yeah. I mean, it takes, takes another brother to tell you that. If any yeah. other race say that, you'd be like, hey, you can't say that. You can't, but but you and I know. Even We, he, we understand it's like the inside code that we we know we can get away with this shit. Exactly. Because exa- even he knows. He looking like, I don't belong in this shit. <laughs> he, like, I, he like, I don't way too black for this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so right though. Yeah, I'm glad, man. I like this dude already. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I see why Austin loves you, man. It's it's all about being humble and being like real. Like it's nothing I fake about it. A lot of people know my background. Oh, I see why. I see why you brought him here. <laughs> oh, that's. See, Kuda Brown. Shit is up, you know what I mean? Now, is, it your, is it your birthday, Mr. Brown? No, no it's, it's Nate's, Nate's birthday. It's Nate's birthday. Nate's birthday. Okay. Um, we're I'm gonna... Earth Tone. I, I'm, I'm out there in, in, in the field. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> if, if, they, if they put us in slavery right now, I'll be outside. They wouldn't even... Do... You got a strong back. Yeah. Hey, brother, well, no no, no offense, but I'm going to do the best I can to be a house nigga. I'm going to be inside. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be inside. I, you heard me saying, I'm going to be inside where the air conditioning is going on. <laughs> It's cool. <laughs> I'm going to sell you out, you know. We can't tell you nothing. I know. <laughs> they, they went that way. So. Yeah, he'll sell you out for sure. Hey, master, he running. <laughs> uh, Mr. Mr. Coon is here. No, you know what? Uh, let's go ahead and get to our next question. Uh, Cooter Brown, I want you to be here to answer this with us. Oh, shit. I don't even know what this question is right here. <laughs> I'm sorry. Can I cuss on this? Yeah, yeah. you can literally okay. say of course, anything. Of course, you want. you're here okay. talking all this crazy I, I, shit. I, I was just making sure. You know. Yeah, nah. I, I like that you being respectful and everything, but, but that, don't. No, but don't. <laughs> I, I, don't. I, I, Try to be as disrespectful as you can. Yeah, actually. Yeah. Well, I, I'm gonna be disrespectful. This man, this motherfucker beat me out of like a thousand dollar contest like a year ago. You think I remember that shit? Oh, I know you do, yeah. but <laughs> <I'm> still <laughs> mad about it. Hey, I, when I take my L's, I don't want to take them hoes lightly. <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> That's how it should be, though, man. But it's all we still got respect. What did you do, right? It was none of that shit. It wasn't on him though it was on the judges because i feel like at the end of the day i hit every point that i was supposed to do i did different things very spontaneous and they gave it to him and i'm like all right that's what it is it's never not good enough because we bring it down anytime they have battles in the city i come up to be the winner so that's really what it was but it's no hard feelings i love seeing that he worked <laughs> You feel what I'm but saying? But you still gonna beat his ass. No, nah, it's not even that. Like, that's cool, like, I man. With him. You feel what I'm saying? Like I, it, when I took that L, I wanted to listen to his music. 
You know oh, what yeah. I mean? And that's gotcha. when I became a Makes fan. Makes you better. Yeah, yeah. I'm always a yeah. fan. Well, that's how it's you always been, man. Yeah. Like, I fuck with all their stuff. Well, we're going to have so. y'all do some freestyles. In I'll a do that. While. Yeah, I, and I can't. I've heard, now I've heard Nate, and I've definitely heard Mr. Tone Royal over here, but I've never heard you, and I keep hearing how wonderful you are. Can you freestyle? Are. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's all I do is freestyle. freestyle I don't write anything. Battle rap, right. all that shit. Yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait. We'll save that for the end of the show. Let's go ahead and get into our next question, and maybe you can. Help us out right here. I'm kind of scared with that outfit you got on. Like, don't be scared, man. Don't be scared. Embrace it. Embr- yeah, embrace it, man. Embrace it, brother. I did. And then th- that your sidekick is just like egging me on. I know. Like, <laughs> just, just do it. I know. I'm Danielle, Bro- by brother. the way. Oh, okay. Hi, hi, Danielle. Nice to meet you. It's a pleasure. <laughs> Look, I like the way he been like, "Yo, man, this motherfucker took my shit. I'm gonna beat the fuck out of him." And Danielle come like, "Oh, hi, Danielle. How are you?" <laughs> you do have. Lip- oh, you're forgetting. You, you're forgetting. You have a lip gloss on, Corey. What do you expect? <laughs> His I lip gloss. Is by the way, I am a dude under this <laughs> he is straight that's too you know, you can I am straight. He is straight too believe it or not yeah, yeah. I am straight that's why I can do this shit cause I'm, I'm, I'm secure like you're proud, you, you're proud. That's I'm proud you're yeah that's like security sexuality that's that's what what yeah, I, I just do dumb shit for attention man that's all it is I feel that <laughs> you know, that's all I do that's why I'm here <laughs> I love how you admit it I do I, yeah man you know embrace it as we told him so where are the rest of the village people at oh man uh, <laughs> being straight <laughs> <laughs> I'm the only one that's gated up tonight. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and get to uh, so you can got some sly ass jokes over there. I see how it's gonna be. I see how it's gonna be. It's gonna be a long night. Let's go ahead and get into our next question over here. Uh, this is from Thomas Palumbo. We know Thomas. Our Thomas. NYC resident. Yeah, Thomas has come to Austin a couple of times. Real nice dude, and he has a question for us about scary things on the internet. Happy Halloween, DT crew. He always looks like he's sad too. Yeah. <laughs> he, he got he got his droopy on Happy Halloween, DT crew. I'm Freddy Krueger. Got red your face. <laughs> yeah, I'm scary. And the nice question for the Monday call-in show. I'm about to go grab a beer with Yannell, but I just figured I'd ask a quick question. What's the creepiest YouTube video I've ever seen? You, I man. Send one that I found. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah. What did you say, Freddy? Yeah, you, you weirdo. That's crazy. Down below. But uh, yeah, Happy Halloween. Hope all's good. Fuck LA. You should come to New York. Peace out. He wants me to leave, put a disclaimer. He doesn't really hate L.A. He loves everybody He just doesn't want us to go there before we go to uh, New York. That's it. What is the creepiest thing we've seen on YouTube? <laughs> Probably going to be this video when we put it up. <laughs> With me on there. He put his video up. I was asking for his link earlier. When he says creepy things on the internet, you know, you go around the internet, you just find people just doing weird things with no explanation. When you they know that weird part of YouTube, man. It's the dark, it, the, the dark it part It happens of every once in a while where you're just on YouTube and you start off with videos of like Elmo and Ricky Gervais. Yeah, and next yeah thing you exactly. know, You're like way down, like, Balls oh deep shit, and yeah. Ghosts like, and where the fires. fuck am I on? <laughs> well, when you, there's certain things on YouTube you find and they just put weird shit up with no explanation. So when you don't have an explanation for the weird shit you're doing, that scares me. See, that's weird. A bitch talking backwards, head button, a bowl of cereal. You know, this shit is weird to me. And it goes on. And if you watch the whole video, I'm not going to play the whole thing. But that is that is it. It goes back in and she says some more weird shit and it cuts off. Mm-hmm. And I don't understand. You know, it freaks me out. I don't understand it. Yeah. Oh, this what? is my favorite. Oh, and, and, and you talk about some of the creepiest shit I've come across on the internet? Well, this is one that I found a few years ago that freaked me the fuck out. Happy Fourth of July! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my name is Jeremy Frederick Wilson, but, but you, you can just, just call me <laughs> Bitty. <laughs> like, where's this boy's parents? You know, who left him in a room with a, with a webcam to do this bullshit right here? I can't explain it. That shit freaks me the fuck out when I see it. <sighs> Yeah, you know, I and I, you know, people are saying leave the boy alone. Find something really creepy, man. Be be serious. There is a video that came out years ago, and I feel bad about it because oh. somebody with a, like a, like seriously, they have a physical condition, and I don't want to make fun of the disabled, but it was something called uh, Miss Bunny or you know Captain Bunny or something. I think I know what you're talking about. Do you, do you know? Uh, yeah, let me see what the name of this is. God Goddess Bunny. Do do you guys remember this? Yeah, 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 that's... I like he about to run off the roof right now. <laughs> he like, man, you don't cut this shit off right now? 
like, I'm way too high for this right now. <laughs> You're like, I ain't fucking with this bitch. Get off, man. Get off. I smoke too much weed for yeah. these skinny bitches. <laughs> Co- Goddess Bunny. It's a, it's, it's, it's a chick. Uh, we think, and she's extremely skinny. She, she can barely hold herself up, and she's just yeah. walking like a zombie. And it's all zooming in on her face. And she's just walking towards the screen like she's about to eat us or something, you know? I like the way he scooted back. Look, he's like, yeah, man, I can't deal, can't deal with this shit, bro. Y'all didn't even catch the rare, like, it's very, very important if y'all watch that video. She did not blink. Yeah. yeah. No, not once. At all. No. I'm, that's the, I'm not laughing about the deform. I'm just like, how are you going this long? Without blinking. Yeah. Without you're tired, blinking. You're crying. It's like some, walk, oh. it's like some walking dead shit real, without real the makeup, yeah. you know? Oh, and I, that's and just I, terrifying. Man. And I felt bad, because I'm, and I'm not even lying. I, I, I'm not bullshitting. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you the straight up truth. I saw this and I had nightmares. Yeah, that's I, just... this gave me bad dreams, man. Disturbing bad dreams. Look, and, I, and I felt that finally blink. This whole time. Did she finally blink? <laughs> she finally blink. had to get some moisture up in the eyes finally. <laughs> And, and you know what? I, I, I do really feel bad about it because I had to look it up because I said, this is not somebody who's just doing this for fun. This is not somebody. This is not a makeup job right here. This is not special effects. This person really has a physical affliction. It turns out that it was a, it's a hermaphrodite who has polio. And and uh, I guess she was I thought to- that chin was strong. <clears throat> I know, I know, That's man. A strong chin. I was like, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna do that because you already in this category that you got going through this problem. For me to already be like, I don't even think that's a woman. Yeah, it's a it's it's not. Well, it's both. It's a, well, I, it's, it's well, a man well, and a woman. Okay. <clears throat> you know, I guess she got. I guess she's a woman down there, and she got a. <laughs> I know. <laughs> okay. You know, like okay. we are half wrong, but you're half right. Yeah. <laughs> like, I could have been right, but I could have been wrong. Hey. But I could have been wrong, but I could have hey. been right. Hey, brother, we just gonna have to meet middle ground, all right? <laughs> 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 half full, half empty. But, <laughs> but, <laughs> but, <laughs> but, <laughs> but <laughs> not full dick, full vagina, man. That's, like, that's what is going on. That's what that means. Hermaphrodite, I yeah. think so. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Super yeah. Okay. I, I, I don't even know all that shit right there. Thank you. I, he knows way. He knows way too much about hermaphrodites. Like everybody in the room was just kind of curious, but didn't want to ask. And he's like, he knows oh. every. Felix knows everything. He's smart. He's, he's very he's, rare. He's though. very learned. He's very but, learned. Yeah. But uh, it turns out that this was a. Uh, she was just trying to tap dance, and I guess it just kind of looked a little fucking weird oh, on camera. Bless her heart. But she goes by. This is a few years ago. She goes by Sandy Crisp, uh, including some other names. Living with polio is the hard part. She gained some weight? Yeah. With oh, good. the right frame of mind, you can do just about anything. Um, I met some disabled people growing up that had chips on their shoulders. You know, they just thought everybody owed them a living. You know, I, I had to look that up. because I'm not trying to make a joke of that. I felt genuinely... Guilty for being creeped out about that. Yeah. I, had, I had to put a human. But being you're not on the it. first person that's. Shown, I mean, a lot of people are creeped out about that video. So yeah, because I knew what you were talking about, and so did like, <laughs> Sammy yeah. and Felix over here. That yeah, scared the fuck out of me, man. Yeah. And even you know, once I put a human face to it, you know, I'm better now. I didn't. I feel better. I didn't want to just you know sit up there and make fun of her. But uh, what about you, man? Uh, I sent. Did you get my video? I, I did. You? I did. Um, and it's more just real life situation, but it's a video of this fire in a nightclub while they're watching a concert. And uh, it was the one they were watching White Snake or something Great like White. Great, White. Great White. Yeah, was that the, yeah. was that the one? Yeah, and there was somebody there uh, videotaping, and you see it like the stage lights on fire, and. You see, like, people stay there because it just shows you. They use this as a safety thing because it shows you how people, they weren't informed of the exits and how people didn't know something was actually happening and how people just kind of, in that moment, don't really think it's real. Oh and this God. place just goes up in flames, like, quick. You can hear people screaming and shit. And this is something that stuck with me because the first time I watched this, I was like, holy shit. I saw this in school. Oh, yeah. And yeah. it's a real video. You see him, like, people were still kind of staying in there. And he shuffles out. The guy with the video camera is like, all right, I need to get out of there. And. <laughs> so I see what you're saying, man. Like you find that's the, that's the scary thing about the internet. I mean, especially with something like YouTube. YouTube is mainstream, and you'll yeah. see some things where people are actually dying. Yeah. Well, this is like they have it as a safety video too that they showed at nightclubs and things oh, yeah? like that in concert venues, and and I think that's why they have the subs for safety reasons to show you what could happen. And they did a documentary on this as well. But it just goes up like black smoke starts coming out, and the next thing you know, it's just up in flames, and you can hear people in there like scream. Like go to 440. You're not gonna hear any screams or anything, but you'll see like. This dude is with the cameras like screaming, is anybody inside? Is anybody and it's already just engulfed in flames. It's crazy. (laughs) 
So real mm. shit scares you, is what you yeah, say. Yeah, man. I mean, just being burned to death. Dude. And even just Especially with you performing at clubs, <laughs> you know. <laughs> well, I mean, it's real, right? You like, And I, it just, and anytime, you just be aware. Like, I'm not trying to make a PSA or anything, but really be but aware. <laughs> if you go into a closed space, and especially now with all this gun craziness and shit, like, know your way out. If you're in yeah. a confined space, just be alert. Like, because you don't know you, what could happen. You're going to be one of those Canadian PSAs. Dude. You know, <laughs> <laughs> at, a rap, at a rap concert? <laughs> yeah, though? at a rap concert. I should have <laughs> signed a record contract tonight. I should have blew up, but I never knew where the exits were. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm burning alive. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he said, so I did blow up, kind of. <laughs> That's fucked uh, up. That really is. Man, her, <laughs> he was even like, damn, this fucked up. Yeah, that's, that's that shit was low. But she, hers is the craziest. She got a phobia of birds. And we talked about this today. You uh, don't believe me, man. You don't know I, what I've been through. I, like the I third asked, girl I've met that hates birds, man. I, well, I asked her. I said, give me, you know, I said, you guys make sure you give me your videos of scariest things that you've seen on the <laughs> Internet. And she sent me an instruction video on how to fight, a, <laughs> fight off a bird. If you're attacked by a cassowary, would you know how to Look at this mother. What? They will kill you. <laughs> In general. <laughs> Today's topic was requested by Hunter Within. If you have any other topics you'd like to learn about, be sure to subscribe. Oh, is this a They Will Kill You channel? Yeah, yeah, whatever. yeah, yeah, yeah of... they will kill you. And I th she said, that's the scariest thing keep I've seen it, on the internet. Keep it cruising so they can see this bird's claws. Uh, what, is it? Do they show it in Yes, there? hit play. It's this is the very moment where I scarred below. my soul. A cassowary is a flightless bird that resembles an ostrich. Just wait for They're it. They're the third tallest, second heaviest. <laughs> he's already wait looking at the, for it. Here it comes. He's looking at the, he's looking at Danielle right now. I will fucking kill you. <laughs> <laughs> there, I don't fuck with that right there. You got big bird feet. <laughs> they will bird. claw your face off. De uh, man, you should be more scared of deer. They kill more people than Fuck this shit. That. <laughs> she sent me not an actual attack of a bird, but the instructional video on how to avoid the bird. She said, <laughs> "Just stay away from it." <laughs> I don't that, fuck with birds. Can you pull up the birds from scary movies? This too? is me. This is what happened to me every morning before class in Australia. And then I asked her. I said, "Sit." I said, "I said, send me an actual bird attack." And I thought she was gonna send me that bird attack. And she sent me Same. a picture of a magpie attack or something. Magpies have gotten me, man. I've had to go to hospital with my head bleeding, just like this. Poop, dead. <laughs> fuck that. And they go swoop, swoop. I don't want to They just go back and forth, back and forth. I, now, is that you riding the bike right there? That happened to me. You guys don't understand. I came back with my head bleeding. Literally skin peeled off from a fucking magpie. Magpie swooping, swooping, so. swooping, swooping. They will swoop your bitch ass. You have to go to class with the paw on your head. Boy, they that will is swoop your bitch that, ass. That is the quote of the year. They will swoop your bitch ass. They will. You got to be prepared. You got to put ice cream buckets over your head in Australia. If you go towards their tree where it's like where they just had babies, they will fuck your shit. Oh. I don't know. And they're big. They take their beaks. They get you right. I like the way that bird. Like she's gonna be at work, and that bird gonna be at the window. Yes. I uh, dream about this you. stuff. I'm I just imagining out. like Wiley e. Coyote, but in like the Road Runner, but it's just Danielle and that shit. You guys don't know fear. <laughs> no, so. Australia is just, just the one giant death trap. <laughs> yeah. Australia doesn't That's nice. That, so, what's that? Oh, was, I, I, so my girlfriend, uh, old girlfriend that I had, she had a fear of birds as well. And I would always be like, there's nothing to even be afraid of. Like, what the fuck's wrong with nope. you? And one time she was rolling through a neighborhood with both windows down and a bird swooped. Yep. I'm not even kidding, dude. Bird swooped in with precision, went through the window and started pecking her in the fucking yes, head. Yes, I've been there too. And it took off. You guys like, don't. But I was like, you know what kind of precision this bird needs to have to be like, all right, I got to time this shit on a moving vehicle to swoop in through the window, peck her on the head Deadly. and just fly the fuck away. <laughs> you don't know fear. You people don't know the things I've been through when it comes to birds. They don't let up. They don't let up. You know what I'm wearing? I want a bird to knock off that bike and just take that shit. <laughs> My bike, bitch. They're huge. They're huge black birds and they will... You should Whoop. like that thing. No. <laughs> I'm from Florida too, where the where the seagulls will swoop you if you're eating a fries on the beach or whatever. I've we'll grown swoop up. You? They will swoop your. They will bitch swoop ass. your bitch ass. Swoop your bitch. Well, you know what? That bird. That 
That bird is precise right there, man. That bird has a hard on for this girl. That is frightening. That that bird is like I've following. I've been there. That bird I'm is telling you. She's she's like been driving a mile, and that bird is still behind they her. They don't let up. Ah! Ah! That was me, and the Australians were just videotaping, laughing the whole damn time. <laughs> I was she, there. She happened to be alive, right? <laughs> Except I was running, and I had no fucking helmet. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yep. Oh, Daniel. You don't know. You don't know fear, wow. my friends. I wish I had dressed up like a bird tonight. No. <laughs> oh. I don't fuck with them. And that those feet. Forget about it. <laughs> Hell no. Just get in a pedicure. Oh, no, that, that bird, man, that bird is wearing house shoes right now. <laughs> not me. Not today. No, bird. sir. Oh. Just a bird. Their Let's... wings start flapping. I don't do chickens. I don't do no damn bird. Game flop brings to your house to you. Over 8,000 new releases in classics that are available to rent, or you can buy them for almost every system out there, current and some old systems. Like I said, man, I've been trying to put my GameCube back to work for years. Gamefly is giving me an excuse to do that. And you can even try 30 days for free by typing in gameflyoffer.com forward slash double toasted. And when you do that, you, you'll get 30 days for free of games and movies. Get all those things, all of them at once. Just stay in the house. Don't go nowhere because they're all going to get brought right to your mailbox. You can also bring the element of surprise every month to your home in the form of a Loot Crate mystery box. In that box, I can't tell you what it is, but I can guarantee you it is the best in geek and gaming gear. Some people say it's like having Comic-Con brought right to your home. You don't have to leave the house for nothing. You're getting all kind of stuff. And everybody likes a little surprise every month. Just a little bit. And here's another surprise for you. You know, if you go to our link, trylootcrate.com forward slash double toasted, and you type in bridge 10, that's the word bridge in the number 10, you can get 10% off, a 10% discount on your first crate. How's that for a surprise right there? Loot Crate, bring the mystery and the surprise to your mailbox once a month with Loot Crate. Hey everyone, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to our channel and go over to our home, doubletoasted.com for more videos and live streams. And remember, stay toasty.